Alright, this video is not going to be fast forward. It's just going to be me showing you how to make these wine glasses that I just got done washing. Um, oh, and if you do buy glasses that have stickers on the bottom of them, the easiest way to get stickers off the bottom is to uh, have them sit in warm water, put some dish soap on it, let it sit two minutes, and it just comes right off. So these are Libby made Toledo, Ohio, and my husband works there. So if you want to support that, they're great glasses. They're those stemless red wine glasses. Um, so anyway, I made these for uh, my mom and my aunt at Christmas, and they loved them. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Um, we're going to get, what you do is get Sharpie oil-based paint, and you get the um, medium point, and then you just choose the colors you want on the glass, and you just start painting down. Uh, I saw this on a uh, Pinterest uh, post, and I thought I would try it. And it's really easy and really fun. Now, all you do is just start putting lines down the side of the glass randomly. It doesn't matter if they're perfectly straight or not. They probably should be fairly even around here. And then on the sides, they kind of fade out a little bit. Um, so I try to keep the marker down as long as I possibly can, but it makes it look cool if they kind of fade out at the top and aren't a straight line all the way down. I like to fill it in fairly close. And then you can, if your pen, if your uh, marker doesn't have enough color, you just put it down. I don't know if you can see here. You just kind of put it like that and then when you see your dot come out, then you know. So you don't want too much on there. You gotta be careful because sometimes it's still wet. But it's easy to get off. You want to hand and wash these also and when you tell, if you're making them for gifts, tell people that they are hand washable only. So, um, I'm having the lines go fairly far down. Some are shorter, some are longer. Um, just to give it a nicer look. Alrighty, so there's the red. Put some orange on it. This is my favorite color combination. When it's all finished, I do the orange, red, and yellow. And I just think it looks so cool. My nails are really short. So we're expecting, today is January 4th, and as I said, I live in Toledo, Ohio, and we are expecting this humongous storm to start tonight around midnight or so and continue on through, I think, Monday, like 4 a.m. or something, and the grocery stores, I guess, have been packed. It's just supposed to be freezing cold on Tuesday. We're supposed to get these big winds, high winds, and um, really cold temperatures, like they're saying, like minus 30 degrees. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of hoping that we get the storm. Sometimes this also... Um, gets the other colors on it, so I'm going to try to get it off. Because I've already got orange on there. In between. Because that yellow really makes it pop really well. 
Um, anyway, so we went to um, get gas for the um, snowblower too, and the line was just so long. My husband said that a lot of people were filling up their five gallon. Um, little, you know, those little portable five gallon, I don't know what the heck they're called. Five gallon tanks or whatever the heck they're called. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure you know what I mean. So I'm just putting the yellow through a little bit, kind of going around looking at it. And if I like it, I'm going to have to get this off the top because that does not look too cool. Now you can do them all the same, or, anyway, there's the glass. Uh, you can do them all the same colors, or... You can do them different colors. I've seen them done different colors. I see kind of some bare spots here that I want to fill in a little bit. Better. Sometimes it's easier to hold it farther away from you. You can see it there. Okay, I like that one. So, I think for my next one, I will do. I like the blue and white and silver. Now, the silver one that I got, the silver Sharpie I got was too fine of a tip. I mean, it's just that real little tiny fine tip. So, I think I'll have this one go on last and I'll do the blue and the white first. So anyway, we'll see if the storm comes. Like I said, I hope it does because I've been on winter break from school um, for two weeks and it has been fabulous, restful. I've also been gotten a lot of cleaning done, organizing done, gotten a lot of stuff to Goodwill. It's been wonderful. I've spent a lot of time with family. And the next weekend I'm having uh, our, my old friends. Eileen and Lisa and Kelly, we're all going to get together um, and have a girls weekend, so that should be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that, but like I said, I um, work at an elementary school, I'm the secretary, and I really hope I can extend this little vacation, a little break, a couple more days. It would be nice. But if not, it'll be really fun seeing everybody. So there's the blue. Get back in the swing of things. Sometimes I think that's good. Just uh, makes you appreciate the... Um, well, hello! Right. It really helps you appreciate the breaks. your little rut and routine. I guess I haven't used this white sharpie yet. So to get the paint down you have to shake it and just kind of hold it down until the paint comes down into the tip. Um, you probably could use regular sharpies. I know you can use those on um, ceramic. There's the light. I know you can use those on ceramic mugs and plates, you know. If you've seen that on Pinterest, I don't know if you have, um, and then you'd bake it on. I'm not sure how those would work like on this because I haven't done it. So I'm sure they would, would still look good. Um, either way, 
my aunt, like I said, I gave these to my aunt for a Christmas gift and she washed hers in the dishwasher and so the paint came off. So, FYI, hand washable only. And um, when I was reading the blog that this girl put on, put up, um, she did it on her blog, she said that she just puts warm water and a little tiny bit of vinegar in the glass, fills the glass up with warm water, puts a little bit of vinegar and swishes it around and then um, lets that sit for a little while and then rinses it out again with warm water and that cleans the glass just fine. So, and as you can see, I'm just really random streaks until you like the way it looks. we will do the silver. Alright. Ooh, whoops. Sometimes you can get a little too much out. hard to see the silver, so if you put quite a bit in one spot. i got to get my glasses on. Hold on. I can't see. Um, so, obviously, before you give this to somebody, you're going to want to wash the inside of it again, just because you've put your hand in it. Oh, gosh. Yike. What's, I don't know what's happening. is really hard to see. Oh, man. with it, it's probably going to mess it up more and cover it up. Bells. Hold on. Let's see how we can fix that. Alright, let's try baby wipe. Try and get this off here. And then wait for it to dry. Yep, I think it's working. All right. See how easy it is for this to come up. So just if you make these, tell whoever you're giving them to that uh, they are hand washable on the inside only. All right. So that seems to have worked. We'll let that dry uh, and move on to the next. I don't think I'm going to put any silver in that. I think it's just going to be blue and white. Alrighty. So we can do a green and yellow and purple. That'd be cute.
Sorry, I'm not talking much, am I? Uh, so, I was thinking about putting flowers on this. However, I don't know that I'm a very good flower drawer. But we might try because, you know, we can get them off fairly easily with baby wipes, as we have seen. bunch of short little green ones in there. Looks like grass or something. All right, then let's throw some purple in there. Try and put it where you want it. It doesn't turn out very well, so if you just do it random from the top, it'll be fine. I want to get something in there, and it took me four times to get in there. All right, so now let's see. How oh, there's that glass. Um, I wonder how I would do flowers on that. Maybe just do little round like that. Let's see. Let's do some little random purple flowers here, shall we? sure it's dry so we don't have little spots all over it. So we'll do this. There's a little flower. Well, did you guys all have a happy new year? Or you did you do something with family or did you just stay home and watch a movie? That's what we did. We stayed home and watched a movie. Because it's just the two of us now. The kids are grown and on their own. And, um, so it's just us. So we just watched a movie. We don't want to be out there with all those crazy people. Even for dinner and a movie out, I bet you it would still be not safe. Okay, so there's some purple flowers on there. That's fairly cute. I think I like just the purple flowers, and I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't know that I want to. Let's see. I do some yellow. Oh, that makes me nervous. Well, let's try it. See what it looks like. And one or two in there somewhere. I'll do a little yellow flower in here. There is a little yellow flower. Where do we want another little yellow flower? There's another little yellow flower. There we go. Okay. 
Um, so let's do the blue and white again. Fill that in. There's the blue and white glass. Here's the red, orange, and yellow. Pink and green. And let's see now what colors we want to do this last one. girls I am going to have my girls weekend with are talking here on chat on Facebook so I'm half doing this and half sort of reading what they're saying I'll catch up with them later I really like red so I think that I'll do a lot of red it's, it's going to be the base color anyways and I'll kind of hidden a little bit. So there's the red. You know what's funny? At Christmas, my sister and I made gifts for the um, fam some family members. She made a mug for everybody. She made these really cute little um, mustache mugs. And I'll give you a link to that cute little video she's got of her mustache mug. This looks a lot like Christmas, speaking of Christmas. And um, then I made mugs with initials on them for some people not everybody but for some people at Christmas so it was really hilarious that we both did a mug with paint on it on Christmas and I'll tell you what using the regular sharpies you can do it and then bake it on mugs but um, if you use these oil based paints on the sharpies on the mugs um, it still it still washes off so you still have to there's this one I really like that plot that looks really cool I think that might be my new favorite um, so you have to hand wash if you even do the oil and bake it and if you use the oil ones you can um, you bake those at um, You bake those at 350 degrees for an hour in the oven, and I think with the regular little Sharpies, um, you uh, do bake those at 250 for an hour as well. Uh, so anyway, there you go. And there's my glasses. Glass one, blue and white. Glass two, red, yellow, and orange. Glass three, green, uh, yellow, and purple with little flowers. And glass four, red, green, and yellow. 
These are great because when you drink your wine, you know which one is yours. You don't have to have those little wine um, bubbles they have on the stems to help decipher. Just remember what color you're drinking out of. If you've had a few glasses of wine, though, you might not remember what color. But there you go, folks. Hope you enjoy it. And I hope you do it. Thanks for watching. Uh-oh.